Welcome to the Lacoste Cycling Club and our first ever race report. We are at the King's Cup Gravel Championship on the edge of the Thetford National Park in Suffolk. It's a flat circuit, around 15 and a half kilometers, sandy, a little bit rooty through the woods, not too much line choice, it's going to be fast. We're joined by Yanti Barker, Alex Boswell, Sam, Ollie, and Lawrence, all from the Lacoste Cycling Club as well. I'm gonna have a good day out, we'll bring you the race report, see how we get on. So we've just been round for a tempo warm-up lap, meaning we've got five laps of race to go. Observations from our warm-up? Uh, it's a very fast course. A little bit of technical, but I think actually uh, horsepower is going to make the difference. Yeah, and sitting on, crucially, because it felt like, it doesn't look like it's a windy day, but there's plenty of headwind whilst we're out there. And because of the high speed, it's going to be quite beneficial to sit in the wheel. It's much more like road riding than I think either of us were expecting. I mean, um, that's good for me, so I'm happy about that. And I think actually a speed suit is going to make a difference. There's definitely what's to be saved at the speed that the, uh, we, we are all going to be traveling. So hopefully uh, we can make that count. Estimations for race average speed? I think it could easily be above 30 k's an hour, probably 32, 33, seriously. I'm going to go even higher. I reckon the winner will be around 36. 36 k's an hour? I think, yeah, it feels fast. I'll see what I can I mean, do. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it could well be you. So I, I reckon Chris has got a bonus effect with Yanto because at a time trial last year, Chris claims that it's the first time ever Yanto beat him at a time trial in his entire career. Whether or not that's true, I don't know. Who knows? But uh, we'll, see. we'll see. So I reckon my money's on Chris. He's going to sit on Yanto's wheel the whole way around and then nip past him at the end. Well, I think uh, I'm going to be back in Yanto, I think. Recent four man Richmond Park. That's, yeah, uh, that's true. That's a big thing, you know. So I reckon f from the gun away, won't see him again all race. He'll be off. Are you handing out bottles and gels? I've already requested a beer. Yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> Last wrap. With over 150 riders on the start line, getting a strong start was going to be incredibly important. As with many off-road races, this means an almost maximum 30 to 60 second effort before heading into the narrower trails. From here, the course opened up a little and it became very much a bunch race exercise. One solo rider rode alone off the front with over 30 seconds advantage for the first three laps of the race. With just over two laps to go, that chase group organised itself and started to increase the pace. It was at this stage that my legs came undone, but Yanto found himself firmly cemented in that front group. From here, the racing was somewhat tactical, but also aggressive. It did, however, come down to a bunch sprint for the winning positions, with Jacob Vaughan, a fast finisher, winning the event. Yanto found himself in seventh place, and I crossed the line a few minutes behind in 10th. All in all, a really good showing for our first ever appearance at the National Gravel Championship. That was amazing for an hour and a quarter, and then it's just pure number, suffering. Well, it was fast. I think I'm probably quite close to the estimate at the speed. But just, wow. No one else had signs. I don't know what else to say. Just hard. Very, very hard. We'll get a proper debrief in a bit. <laughs> oh, you are recording that? Okay. Yanto. Eight, uh, 76 kilometers of racing, you finished in the front group. I did not. Talk us through how it was for you. Uh, I'll start by saying it was, it was good. 
it's a it's a funny experience because we don't race anymore because we're retired. Well, we don't race that often. But it was so good being in a group with you for the first hour and a half, whatever, and um, just using you as my marker, knowing you know what you're doing, working through the group. It was so much fun, and I, I really enjoyed it. It did get. Uh, it probably went up a up a notch with um, after three laps or during the third lap. And like guys like Ryan Christensen, who I know, just really started putting the hammer down, and a couple of other riders who are, I don't know these guys, uh, them like gravel riders, but they they started going over the top of each other, and the and the pace went up, and I was fortunate to be able to join in. And then we had probably a group of 25 before that started, and then it kind of whittled down to about 10. Um, we all worked pretty well together, and um, that was kind of how it finished, really. But I, I really, really enjoyed it. It was such a great place to be. And um, obviously, I don't mind suffering if you're in the front group, which I did suffer quite a lot today. Yeah, it was. It really was a race of two halves, where the first bit was quite controlled. Nobody really wanted to make any moves, and then, indeed, the race started just with just over two laps to go. My race sort of finished at that point, and it became energy management to the finish line. But I really enjoyed it. It's a very, it's a very different experience to go into a road race yeah. as a complete outsider. Yeah. You turn up. You have maybe one or two teammates, or we had several of us here today. Yeah. But it's a very welcoming, enjoyable atmosphere, yeah. I would describe so it. I was really fortunate that Lapierre gave me a bike for this race, and I only rode it uh, twice for an hour each time before this, this yeah. race. But the reason I say that is I didn't think I lacked any of the transferable bike handling skills which you might have if you were doing a mountain bike race. Yeah. So I don't think you need to get too stressed about how much you need to train and practice on a, on a gravel bike. You know, if you've got the basic kind of technical skills I think you can come and do a race like this and really enjoy it there's lots of age group races going on as well behind us and I would thoroughly recommend coming look at all the, the stands beer and burgers and chips and everything that you've earned after a good ride um, I really enjoyed it it's great yeah I think it's a thoroughly good summary of a fantastic day's racing this weekend continues we're not here tomorrow but there's a sportive tomorrow a few of our teammates the local CCC riders are riding here tomorrow and I believe there's a night ride as well, so there's plenty going on. If you ever feel inspired to try an event like this, it's clear, Yantia highly recommends it, I highly recommend it. The only thing to do is sign up and enjoy.